Hello Wildcats, my name is Neil and you're watching another broadcast of the Cat's Eye News. Today we've got the musical talent show, the Novi Public Library Cafe and Moose on Sports. All this and more on today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com with your story ideas and we'll be sure to feature it on our next broadcast. Be sure to send it to this email and not Mr. Letarte for the best chances of seeing your email. See you later, Novi. Hey Novi, on Monday, April 8th, the Japanese club will be hosting the Japan Society of Detroit Women's Club for a traditional tea ceremony. The meeting will be held at room 160 at 3 p.m. There will be a $2 fee and any donations to the women's club are welcome. The first 40 students will be able to receive tea and traditional Japanese candy, so make sure to get there early, Novi. Hey Novi, Crochet Interest Group will be having their ninth meeting on Tuesday, April 9th from 3 to 4 p.m. in room 160. They will be making an Easter basket, so make sure to bring all the proper materials. See you later, Novi. Hey Novi, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Wednesday, May 1st, 40 students will be visiting the Operating Engineers Training Center in Howell for a Michigan Construction Career Day. If you want to drive big trucks, use tools, or are interested in construction in any way, shape, or Form, this free field trip is perfect for you. To pick up a permission slip or get more information, you can visit Mrs. Kerbrat or Mr. Scavo or the other Mr. Scavo. Hello, people of Novi. As you can see from this lower third's title, my name is Neil, and I'm here to tell you that the musical talent show will be taking place today, that's April 5th, after school at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. And boy, have we got some talent for you. We've got Hamilton, we've got Les Mis, we've got Arushi Singh from the tennis team. We've got Beetlejuice, we've got Grease, we've got Sophie Long from the dance team. We've got Funny Girl, we've got the chorus line, and we've got Millen Thurman from the student council. You think that's all we've got? Well, you're wrong. We've got Moana and Mamma Mia and A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. And we've got Izzy She and Brandon Gilger and Magna Sivakumar and Hannah Jong. We've got fantastic performances by some middle schoolers as well. And best of all, the one that trumps it all, we've got Neil Archis Manish from the Cat's Eye News. Hi, that's me. And we've got the Singing in the Rain cast giving you a sneak peek of the upcoming musical Singing in the Rain. When is it? Today. That's April 5th. Where is it? The Auditorium. And that's today? Yes, today. The Musical Talent Show? The Musical Talent Show. And it's today? Just $5 at the door. Just $5 at the door. And it's in the auditorium. It's today. March 5th, today at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. It's today. And it's today. We all love the Novi Public Library Cafe here at the high school, but we don't know that much about it. So let's go talk to a few of its employees to learn more. So the NAT is the Novi Adult Transition Center. It's for students aged 18 to 26, and we work on different things, all depending on what each student wants to do after they're done with school. So we really help with job placements, learning some different adult living skills. So we have had a partnership with Novi Public Libraries for a couple of years now. Uh, we have a couple of students that work in a cafe, and we actually have a couple of students that also work in the lunchroom at the high school. It's a great program. It's been going on for, I think, about 10 years here in Novi. And uh, you know our program started with two students, and now we're all the way up to 15. Well, it's a great opportunity for our students to learn different job skills and to hopefully gain some employment afterwards. So Arshi, you've been working here at the cafe. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things you do here at the cafe? Uh, I stock chips, I stock the drinks, and I hop out with the cookies. And what is your favorite part of working here? Because I, I like to come here a lot after school. That's why I most likely like about the library. Come here after school, hang out with my friends. Hello, here we are with our manager, Zuli, and our amazing team member, Keith. So we just want to tell you about Motivational Mondays. It's a new promotion that we're coming up with on Mondays for any staff member that works in the Novi High School or any of the other schools. A staff member, if you come in with your staff badge, you can get 50% off a single drink item on Mondays. Motivational Mondays to get you through your week. We also have an amazing menu, an array of food here in the case that's pre-made grab and go and then we also have some hot items and we just wanted to mention that all of our profits go back into the school district so if you support us you're supporting your school make sure to go check out the cafe the next time you're at the Novi Public Library hey Novi
There are lots of talented athletes at Novi High School, and today we're going to recognize them in the weekly sports wrap-up. What's up, Novi? I'm Moose, and this is the first of hopefully many Friday Wildcat sports wraps. It's exactly what it sounds like, and we've had a very eventful week, so let's get right into it. Boys baseball had two games this week against Heartland and... Heartland and have a game tonight at 4.30 against Wald Lake Northern. Tomorrow they've got a double header at Wald Lake Central, both at home. Lacrosse has also been pretty exciting with the girls scoring a win against Saline and a close loss against South Line. The boys did similarly with a win against Farmington and a loss against Troy. Girls soccer unfortunately lost both games this week against Salem and Canton. Girls tennis had a game yesterday against Saline with a score to be determined and have an invitational tomorrow night against Pioneer High School at Pioneer High School. And finally, girls softball, 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 softball will be facing off against Heartland today at 4 and tomorrow against Lakeland at 12, both at home. What's up, Novi, and welcome to the final four prediction show on the Cat's Eye News. Starting off with the first game, NC State against Purdue. I don't like Zach Eady at all. I just don't think he's very talented. But I think Purdue's a better overall team than NC State. Give me them to go to the final. Purdue chokes every year eventually. Uh, they finally made it to a Final Four. But I think NC State actually wins this one. Pretty funny if NC State wins. Uh, I'm going to go with NC State. Our next game is Alabama versus UConn. Uh, I think UConn just... Maybe it's close in the beginning, but UConn wins at the end. So. I've liked Alabama all year. I think Nate Oates has done a great job, but UConn is just the best team. I think they're going to roll over Alabama. I guess it'll be close, but I think UConn wins this one pretty easily. As much as I would like to see Alabama go to their first national championship game, UConn's blown everybody out last two tournaments. Give me UConn. So my championship game would be NC State versus UConn. NC State does upset Purdue, but it just doesn't matter because they're going to get absolutely killed by UConn. So UConn's my my national champion. Mine is Purdue against UConn, which could be a great game, but UConn is just so good, and I hate to be boring, but UConn would just win that game very easily. Give me UConn to be the national champions. Yeah, I mean, these guys said it. UConn's just better than everybody else, even though I'd love to see NC State go all the way. Give me UConn. Thank you for turning into the final four predictions by the Cats Eye News, and we'll see you later, Nova. Hello, Wildcats. My name is Neil, here to say thank you for watching today's episode of the Cats Eye News. We'll be back with more next week. That's a wrap, guys. That's a wrap.